Hi guys, this is Chef Dangle with Tiger Chef. Today I'm going to be turning this little stocky leek into a delicious mouthwatering garnish. So for a fried leek garnish, we're going to need a sharp knife and we're going to need a leek. Now with leeks, you only use this bottom portion over here. So we're going to cut off this, get rid of that, flip it around, and all right, we're gonna cut down through here. Now you don't want most of this green, but a little bit of the green is okay, especially if there's like white inside with it. So now we're gonna cut this in half. Okay. Now leeks could have a lot of dirt inside, so I just give it a quick brush through the leeks just to double check that there's no dirt inside. And I'll do this, that one over here. They're usually clean, but sometimes you'll find like dirt inside, especially when you get closer to the top portion up over here. Um, I'm gonna remove the middle, about a couple of the middle pieces, so that I can just push this down flat. Oh, the reason why it's important to have your knife sharp is because you're gonna do very, very, very thin cuts. And you're gonna go with the grain. And these should be about an eighth of an inch in thick. You see they come out like that. Everyone's first distinct reaction when uh, needing to coat things is to put it in a bowl. But uh, we're gonna be putting this in a plate and I'm gonna explain why. So first thing we're gonna do is spread out the leeks, just like so, so we have a lot of surface area. And that's why you're doing it in the plates, for the surface area. And you're just gonna lightly salt it, okay? Now you're gonna let it sit for about two minutes. The whole point of letting it sit for two minutes, you want the salt to bring out a little moisture. Leeks in general are pretty dry, so we're gonna flour it, and when it's dry, the flour's not gonna stick to it. But if there's a little bit of moisture, at least it's gonna stick to the leeks and give us a nice, a little crunch in the end. It's been about two minutes, and actually some of the moisture is coming out onto the leeks. So now I'm just going to sprinkle some flour over this. Remember, if you did this in a bowl, you'd have a lot of moisture and it would sink to the bottom. Then you have like clumps of flour in there. You don't want any of that. So now that we have it like this, you can lightly toss it. The perfect amount of flour is actually gonna stick on each one of these guys, if you guys can see. Now, if you have a deep fryer, you can just take these guys and put them in a deep fryer. If not, pan frying will do. So I'm gonna show you guys the pan frying method. Dust off as much flour as you can. And you're gonna sprinkle all the way around because remember, you want that surface space. And then you wanna have a towel ready to go. When they get brown, you wanna take it out, put it on a paper towel to drain the moisture. So be in here for about a minute and then they'll get golden. So as you can see, uh, we have some browning. It's not as brown as I want it to get, but I'm gonna take it out anyway and I'll explain it why. I'll move it over here and I'm gonna spread it out because steam is still coming out of the leeks. And if it hits, if we stack it on top, it's gonna make it all soggy. So now the reason why I took it out, even though it's not at the brown that I want it, it's gonna continue cooking because they're so small and they're gonna actually brown more when I take them out. So you see that these guys are gonna get a little bit more brown. Once these guys have cooled down, now you can start to stack them on top of each other because no more steam is coming out. Um, but these will be good for like about four or five hours. So you want to make these fresh every night. Mm. Now they're good, they're nice and crispy too. That's how you make one incredible garnish. Now this is really good if you have like something like a lamb chop or beef ribs or anything like that. Um, one of the best parts about this garnish is it stacks up to give you height. And so it gives you like an extra dimension towards your you know, dish that you want. Other than a garnish, tastes good. It's actually really good on its own. I wish they had these as like a fries order, you know, I'd order it. Uh, but anyways, that's one tasty little detail you could add to your menu. And if you want more tasty little details, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for all your chef needs, come visit us at tigerchef.com. See you guys around.